Congratulations, you've made it to the end of your stimulation cycle. Your doctor has chosen what we call an HCG trigger. Your medication would be a brand name. You're either gonna have Navarel or Pregnil. They are both HCG medications, but these are the brand specific, they are equivalent. Whatever your pharmacy sent to you is perfectly fine to use. Um, if you did receive a generic HCG, I don't want you to panic. I want you to just call the ART nurse on call and get instructions from your doctor. Tonight is an exciting night for you. Let's talk about how to do this injection. First things first, I want you to wash your hands. Rubbing alcohol is great. Hot water, warm water with soap is great as well. Then I want you to prep your skin. But before you prep your skin, I want you to prep the vials that are in your boxes. The first vial is gonna be your bacteriostatic water. Pop that top off. Your medication is a powdered vial. Pop that top off. Take your alcohol swab. And though these are supposed to be shipped to you sterile, I still want you to clean the top. So just briskly rub the top with your alcohol swab for each vial. Then I want you to take your skin. Again, this is that lovely muffin top that we love so much. The only time we love it in life is when we're doing IVF, right? So you've cleaned your skin, you let that air dry, set aside your alcohol swab. The very next thing I want you to do is to find your 3cc syringe. This is probably different than maybe some of the syringes you've used in your stimulation so far. So make sure that there's a 3ml or a 3cc on the bottom of your syringe. The next thing I want you to find is your pink needle. It's gonna be long. It's an 18 gauge inch and a half needle with a pink top. Grab that needle. Don't worry, it looks big and scary, but we are not using that to inject your medicine. We're just using it to mix. You've got that here. Take off your safety cap. We're gonna to go to our bacteriostatic water vial. Turn it upside down. Stick your needle into the rubber stopper. I want you to pull out more liquid than we actually are gonna need. That way you get rid of your air bubbles. Pull out down to the two line. Then I want you to push back up all the way to the one. You should have one cc. Pull out your needle. Set that aside. Your medicine is your powdered vial. I want you to insert the needle into the rubber stopper. You can flip it back upside down, or right side up rather. Go ahead and squirt all of the liquid in. Take out your needle. You're gonna let this swirl around for just a few minutes. While we're doing that, we're gonna get rid of this big scary pink needle, okay? Safety cap goes back on, twist off the needle, goes into your sharp spin. The next needle we're gonna need to use is actually just a half inch, 27 gauge needle. It'll have a gray top on it. It's far less scary and very friendly looking compared to the other one actually. Go ahead and twist on your needle, take off your safety cap, just like so. We're gonna make sure that all of this liquid and powder has mixed. Check the bottom of your vial if you don't see any specks of white, you're good to go. So go ahead and turn that vial upside down. Insert the needle into your rubber stopper. You wanna get every single drop of liquid out. So sometimes that means you have to move your needle around just a little bit to make sure you get all of the liquid out of your vial. When you've done that, you probably have a good bit of air here. I want you to push all of the air out and go very slow until you see one little drop come out of the top of your syringe, just like that, and your needle. You're good to go. It may be hard to see, but you'll see what looks like a raindrop on the end of your needle. Stop there. Now you're ready to give the injection. I want you to just grab a little pinch of skin at least one inch away from your belly button. Go in at a 90 degree angle, just like so. Push in all the medicine. Pull your needle directly out. Drop it in your sharp spin, and you're done.